Cheers. Cheers. Welcome, Welcome to, to Movie, Movie Bitches. Bitches, RuPaul's Drag Race, Season 5, Episode 2. <laughs> this was earlier than I remembered, this challenge. Yeah. Just because it was, I was very excited about it, and yeah. it was earlier than I remembered. I mean, this episode, and Untucked, has some very, I mean, I keep saying iconic, but like they are. It's iconic. <laughs> Don't try it, little boy. You know, officially. <laughs> We'll get there. Yes. We can't just play the entire episode of Untucked. But I mean, that's what they in did. In theory, we, we should. <laughs> we will just keep like, playing these clips eight times over, and somehow you won't be sick of seeing them. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> Who are you calling ghetto? All of you. No. Anyway, very exciting stuff. Yep. But first things first. First things first. Shout out to our Patreon supporters. $5 a month gets you ad-free early access. $10 gets you access to our viewing parties where you will see us laugh at every single time that they play those clips. Officially! I've had it, officially! I really can do it. Second thing second, make sure to subscribe, share, whole, follow us on Instagram and Twitter, tell everybody, follow Movie Bitches, they're doing season five of Drag Race, isn't that fun? I didn't also realize this happened so early. Relask Talks oh, I know. has been formed. Yes, right off the start. Second episode, it's a medication for anyone who's gagging. <laughs> it's a new prescription drug for people who are gagging. Really, really appreciating Detox on this rewatch. Absolutely. I mean, I always loved her, yeah, but I'm but like, like, ooh, yeah, you're bringing it. You're yeah, bringing it, yeah. and I'm really excited I kind of wish they had done a commercial. Do you suffer from gagging? <laughs> Do you need relief? Like, whatever. Try Rolaska Talks. So, episode two. Uh, fun challenge. Fun, Really fun challenge. Well, a nightmare of a mini challenge. Yes. I, at first, I was, like, really into this idea. So, the mini challenges, they have to, they have, like, the silly photo booth. Like, or photo whatever it's things. It's very end of Greece. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they, um, it's just the lips. It's RuPaul's lips. Lip sync using just, just yes. the mouth. Um, and we were like, how much fun! This is gonna be so great! The first group gets to <laughs> lip, -sync. lip sync to... Shrano Chaser, Lady Boy, and Peanut Butter. All available on iTunes. <laughs> Tranny Chasers. Chasers. Oh, yikes. The second um, song is oh, Lady is Boy. Oh, okay. Oh, great. Okay. Third song, um, peanut butter. Oh, Safe. great. That's um. Well, unless, unless you have you're a allergic. peanut allergy, <laughs> it's still fine. Really? The word They're, won't hurt you. I mean, I don't know. Anyway, yeah. The peanut. <laughs> you don't know what I'm talking about. No. Peanut. Yes, I have one right here. It's bulky, but I consider it carry on. Peanut. Oh, I see. <laughs> no thanks. I've got one right here. <laughs> Anyway, visually a nightmare. Yes, uh, it was like an art installation or something. It was like a trippy yeah, drug yeah, yeah, vibe yeah, yeah, or something yeah, yeah, yeah. where you're just like, ooh, mouths moving too many on the screen. I mm. can't focus on any of them. Yes, yes. They should have cut in between them all. You, one person gets this line, one person gets now, that line. is this something that we made up? Uh, I'm gonna say what it is. Or is this something that actually happened where we, where they, they wore glow-in-the-dark lipstick and had to lip sync. Now, did that happen or was that a thing we suggested happen? I wanna say both. Okay. I wanna say we suggested it happen and then, it like happened. so many things seem to, it manifested. Just like, you know, Cocaine Shark. What was that? I'm very excited. I'm genuinely excited. Great. It just shouldn't be, but I am. <laughs> And we did get that, uh, maybe it's just iconic to me, Rue, that Rue gif of Rue shaking her ass to peanut oh, butter. yeah, peanut, peanut, peanut butter. There's three groups and Detox and yes. Evie and, nope, Detox and Ivy. Yep. Does I have to deal with anything, bitch? You want to just do it all over again? Yeah, sure. There's three groups. Right. Uh, and Detox and Evie and Serena all win. I'm sorry, who? Win. Did I say Evie again? Yes. Oh, no. What does I have to deal with anything, bitch? Oh no! I just I'm just really trying to manifest that Evie, Evie will, will be back yeah, again. Wow! Just, again, always. Always. Now Evie uh -huh. hosting some sort of sure. I'm in. I just want more. Yeah. Uh, so there's three groups. <laughs> yeah. Detox, Ivy, and Serena. Sierra. Sierra. That's Sierra. What? I was uh, I was very um confused. I really don't know who she is. 
Serena. So, oh, Serena. That's right. Serena Cha Cha. <laughs> um, all win their group and they are team captains. The maxi challenge is lip sync to spoken word. Right. Be, iconic, uh, iconic fights scenes from Untucked. From, yeah. Or iconic, not always fights, I guess. Iconic moments. Moments. They were mostly fights. Bitch, I'm from Chicago. They should have done. I Fix would your never mug. say that. Yeah, right. They really should have done. I would never say I would that. Ne but how do you, there, there weren't enough people involved with that one. All of you guys think that I'm like, that I'm like nothing. I would never say I that. Don't. Her interview was Her look was Her book cover was I would never say that. I don't care. Make it a mashup. I mean, right. Well, that's what I mean. Then we'll talk about it. They mm. untucked exclusive footage of the additional challenge where they all five had to do like a mashup of lines. Right. It was like a, yeah. A, I feel like those don't sam happen as much. Sampling. At least that I haven't seen. Like a seen. sampling of, no. It's like Queens used to have their like, uh, like Alyssa Edwards had like squirted like a trickle, like a squirted like a trickle, like it was like you know done, and she would lip sync it and do a whole thing. Yeah, it yeah, was, yeah. Oh, tea, no no shame. Shame. Oh, tea, no I don't get cute. I get drop dead gorgeous. I really miss this show. Um, I'm very excited that we are rewatching it because we get just iconic lines like Rue saying, I need your lip syncs to be as tight and unforgettable as your charisma, uniqueness, nerve, and talent. Like playing with... Yep. And she know, still does that every now and then. But I, I don't know, maybe the fire has gone behind the eyes. Well, yeah. Um, but there, there used to be a, like a more punk rock playfulness yes. of like, this, like we're sneaking around this, this. Right, You know, yeah, like true. a 12 year old isn't gonna Pick up on that. Pick up on that necessarily. No. Right? Necessarily. Right. Yeah, yeah. And if they do, good for them. I mean, I feel like it took a long time for a lot of people to re realize what charisma, charisma uniqueness, uniqueness and talent stood for. for. Yeah. <laughs> now, uh -huh. do we just call it Charisma, Uniqueness, Nerve, and Talent Island? Uh, no. no. I think Fabulous Bunt Island is still better than yes. that. Bunt. 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 Or fabulous Dean Koontz Island. Yeah. <laughs> Author Dean Koontz. But then that that seems like he owns. Right. Life. Then we're centered in, on um, a man, so and less, I don't I'm want less that. less interested in mm, that. Mm, but mm. Um. they had to choose who did what, but it was mostly uneventful. I mean, uh, right. She uh, Jade didn't want to play Delta, although she did quite well with it, so yes. it was fine. So I do. I miss the editing. I mean, just like a Rue coming up to them and going, "So did everyone get?" Their first pick, did you all agree on choosing whatever you wanted? And Jade just like. <laughs> oh. No. Oh. <laughs> did you not want Delta? <laughs> <laughs> so, quick and break, and we're back with the runway. Category is Dress to Impress, which I, I, I will talk about it. Maybe if it had been, um, you know, if someone had dressed up like an iron. Oh, like impress, too literal. They, they certainly didn't tell them that when they gave them the prompt. We do know that now. That I'm just they, trying to jazz up this category because it was boring. It was boring. I mean, whatever. The, some of the looks were fun, but we'll talk about them in just a second. <laughs> and we're back. Yes. So. Now, if we, if what if someone was dressed up like a newspaper man, woman, journalist? No. Because again, I'm telling you, they didn't tell the queens dressed to impress. They told them four hours earlier, wear something nice. Sure. Yeah. Get into drag. Right. <laughs> But so Rue comes down the runway. Uh, these. Oh, these. These, these doily peignets. Yes. She, 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 her hips were sweaty. So they had to, you know, shove some paper towels under them. I don't know. It was weird, right? Didn't it? Did not. Did not. Care like, for you know, it. when it's like. It's oh. like a dress shield. Yeah. No, yeah. did not care for it. No. Very strange. Yeah. Except dress shields are supposed to go under the clothes. Well, right. Very strange. <laughs> not, not attached to them. It was like black sequins. Are you saying sequin or. Sequins sequin. dress. Sequin dress, I think is what you mean. I say sequin dress. But then with like white napkin -y, doily, 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 doily. Oh, doily. Doi oh, okay. Doily. <laughs> doily. <laughs> doily. <laughs> Could you use it in a sentence? Can you use it in a sentence? <laughs> oh, doily. <laughs> and then. Juliette Lewis is here, 
And Kristen Johnson. This was a great husky voiced uh, judging panel. Yeah, I would like them to <gasps> start a punk band. No. I mean, Juliette Lewis I already mean, has one, but love like, it. I would like Kristen Johnson to join. Or yeah. they all have a movie with Ka Kathleen Turner. Yeah, with Kathleen Turner, <laughs> but also Kathy Moriarty. Oh, my God, yes. And maybe it's like a twin swapping or sisters or lesbian Hus lovers. It's husky whispers. It's all just, yeah. But Eddie Ooh. Redmayne is not invited. No, no. But if there was some way, maybe mm -hmm. they're, they're mm -hmm. four sisters, mm. four brides for four, you know, I don't know. We can figure it out. I just want all four of them in a movie together. I, yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Also, all four of them in more things. In, hire them. Give them work. Yeah. Especially Kristen Johnson. Yes. I feel like she faded away a bit. No one's fun anymore. Whatever happened to fun? God, I'm so bored I could die. Whoa. A little bit. And I feel like she, not that Missy Pyle's career is like gangbusters, but, they but have, she has steady work and she does great work. Well, and I would put them up for the same part. Exactly. So, you know, they should share any more roles for both of them. I told you about how I became BFFs with Missy Pyle, right? Yes, you did. I okay, was great. jealous. <laughs> the Hollywood Bowl bringing... Fucking Kent. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember? It made that clip really is so good. I love you. Um, my God, remember when I was talking to the palm tree? Oh, hello there, fun fella. Who is this? Oh, honey, that's a tree. What are you wearing? I love him. Anyway, more funny ladies. Yeah. But yes. All right, so. Great judging panel. Yeah. Uh, lots of opinions. Yes, I really enjoyed the opinions. The strong opinions. Yeah. And um, disagreeing with Michelle. Love it. Yep. You love her. We get it. No, I, I like... love all of them. Silence. Well, that was what was always so nice, too, about Santino. Is oh, that yeah. He wasn't afraid to say, no, Michelle, you are wrong. <laughs> or I disagree. I know sure. that you think this. Right. But right. I think sure. this. Sure, sure. Yeah, that's <laughs> even I better. And I strongly disagree with what you are saying. Yeah, that's that's the best way because it's not, you know, it's, it's subjective. It's all subjective. Exactly. You yeah. look like a Chewbacca in drag. You know, that could be two, that could be taken two ways. I thought that you were like Chewbacca in <gasps> drag. Shut up, Pizzantino, because that's perfection. <laughs> No, I mean, fabulous Chewbacca and drag. I, I love it. What does drag Chewbacca look like? Bad. Sequins, of course. Bad. Yeah. Are you saying sequin or... Sequins sequin. dress. Sequin dress, I think is what you mean. I say sequin dress. Anyway, first down the runway, Lanaysha Sparks, looking gorgeous, I thought. Mm -hmm. The face, especially the mug, yes. I thought was yes. beautiful. This orange kind of swimsuit. It was very like Miss America or something. There's like a orange motorcycle vest. Right. With cape. Yeah. That then. Cape fear. <laughs> Just give you my retainer and then. Oh, you haven't seen the movie. <laughs> and then she takes it off to reveal like a fabulous. It was very swim. The swimsuit. Uh, section of Miss Universe. Yes. Or whatever. Yes, yes, exactly. Next out, Miss Honey Mahogany in a caftan. We will see more of them. <laughs> this gold bustier that was. Oh, it was really tick tock in um, a way. <laughs> it, was like, it was like grandfather clock. Yeah. It really was. <laughs> There was also a little something that was like Austin Powers fembot e about it, where it was like boo, 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 boo. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, speaking of Kristen Johnston, remember she's the Russian. I want a hump a lot. Excuse me? I want a hump a lot. And I want a toilet made out of solid gold, but it's just not in the cards now, is it? <laughs> I forgot about that. Yeah. Good they, for they're, her. They're, play, they're making fun of Thomas Crown Affair, I think, and playing a sexy game of chess, right? I think you are correct. <laughs> we should have put that up. Oh, well. Well, you know. Oh, 
Oh my gosh, so the next, again, iconic. I'm sorry that this word is getting overplayed, but whatever. Ivy Winters on stilts. Uh, as a butterfly, you know, she came out of the cocoon. Cocoons! Cocoons. Yes, cocoons! You know, cocoon! Out of Jasmine Masters' cocoon. Because the, but the butterfly is actually in the cocoon. This is the cocoon. She's now on stilts with these big... She's chrys chrysalized. Yes. Chrys chrysalist. She's broken out of the chrysalis, right? Yes, yeah. yes. Metamorphosized. Sure. Into this nature goddess butterfly. Yeah. The details were really there. Yeah, that's you know, true. The hair was really cute and the headpiece and it didn't look crafty. It mm -hmm. looked well put together. Yes, and even when she's on stage later without the stilts. Still it, cute. It's still cute, cute look, yeah. good look. But also with the stilts, I mean, I think that's the first and only time we've seen it on the Drag Race runway. I think that's true. I'm trying to, I think that's true. Yeah. Maybe in the season we didn't watch, but. Oh, maybe, or a different, yeah, different country or something. But anyway. Yeah. Next out, I wanted to say the Vivian, but oh. it's not, it's Vivian Panay. Yeah. Uh, in this like golden feather mini yeah. dress. Kind of Wonder Woman. Yeah. 84? Well, Which one the... was the one on the cover or whatever that was like, ooh, here's me in my golden bodice. I don't know. What's the island called? I always forget. Themyscira. Themyscira. Themyscira? Themyscira. Them. Themyscira. Them. Not Themyscira. I love that though. <laughs> it should be. Right? I mean, that's FCI. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> right. Yes, of course. Of course. It was very Themyscira, you know, but like yeah. junior prom. A little bit. A little bit. I think Vivian is, is a tiny person uh -huh. and she doesn't offset that with maybe the exact right proportions. I, I, I get that. She didn't look bad. No. It's just she's not like, you know, um, making her presence bigger. Yeah. The hair isn't huge. Right. The makeup is subtle. Yes. The dresses are cute. You know, yeah. it's, it's not, wow. She's not on stilts. She's not on stilts, uh, in fact. The next, Alyssa Edwards walking her little feather dog. Oh my gosh. She walks like she's a dressage horse. <laughs> she walks like a dressage horse. Burr, 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 burr. Yeah, it was yeah, very. She, um, I bring the beat. she yeah. sells it. She does. I don't like any of her looks. No. At all. <laughs> yeah. She sells them yeah, with this, her personality. It's like Liza Minnelli black sequined pant suit thing. It had like a. You know, she's Cruella's sister, but she's really got it out for sequins and crows. Right. Or something. Something, uh, yeah. I don't know. There was a bit of a, like, I'll skin. You skinned. It was in skin a collie, collie for a right. first, you know. There was something. Kind of huntsman, but boardroom. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. She owns 51% of the crows in the world and is using <laughs> all. Well, it wasn't really crow feathers. It was more. Like Muppety feathers. Muppety, it was like, yeah. It was a look that I did not really care for, but I did appreciate the performance on the runway. Uh-huh. I maybe liked this the most of the looks she's worn so far this season. Sure. I did not care for it. Yes. But she did walk like a dressage horse. horse. Oh my God. She walks like a dressage horse. Next out, Sierra? That's Sierra. What? Serena, we're so rude. Serena Cha Cha comes out in this carnival outfit. And, yeah. You know, at first you're going, oh, this is. Yeah, the, the headpiece you know, is pretty. She's also a tiny person. Yes. Right? So, oh, this is kind of, not that you have to be big, but just, you know, make a statement. Oh, yeah, ooh, it's a little showgirlsy. There's like big. Back piece, yeah, boas, which is pretty. You know, whatever. She's this tiny little flag that once Jennifer Lewis pointed it out, I could never unsee it. I'm sorry, who? Juliette Lewis. I don't know why I always do that. <laughs> I'm not going to name names. They all stole from me. Aretha, Whitney, Little Brandy, Streisand, Diane Carroll. Oh, and be Arthur. Once you see the tiny, tiny, like it's just so funny. Yes, but then of course more glaring is as soon as she turns enormous. around. Enormous, like the flag was was tiny and the <laughs> panties were enormous. The flag was so small that in fact she wouldn't be able to cover the granny panties with the flag. No. That's a problem. Yeah. <laughs> but she really needed something in the back. I don't know what the fuck happened there. I don't. And it was safety pinned? 
to was, the granny panties, something was wrong. Something happened and I don't know what it was. Yeah. So it fell apart and, and it felt like a costume. It was like a, a, a carnival, carnival, you know, yeah. but it didn't it didn't feel like something interesting was happening with that idea. No. No. It was not original in like a Unless, oh wow, like, how creative. It was like, oh yeah, that's nice. What is this a museum for? And that's what the how small the flag was. It was like <laughs> Stop. What is this? A center for ants! So the next is Jay Jolie in this, like, kind of Britney Spears, I was gonna say flying circus, but that's not what I meant. I just meant circus. Cir circus. Yeah. It's not Sh Monty Python. No. Ringmaster, you know, sure. Yeah, yeah. Into it. It was cute. It yeah. was less crapped up. It was less crapped up. I do think um, she missed a real opportunity to have a tiny top hat. You know? Oh, did she not have a hat? No, it was a per I was like, how can you be the ringmaster? Without a hat. Or even a lion tamer. Sure. Without the- The hat. Without the hat. Huh. You're like, oh, this is ringmaster, this is lion tamer. Well, because you're putting it in front, between you, it's like a- I know. Matador just, in this cape. You know? I just, I just like the- This is that, and this is the- Yeah, yeah, in the game of charades, now I know. Ringmaster, lion tamer. <laughs> You should have practiced with that whip, though, a little bit more. If you're going to walk with a whip, you better crack that <laughs> Am I allowed to say whip? It's true. Can I say whip? Sorry. <laughs> Can I say whip? Yeah. And in this case, Jade was lacking accessories, which is usually not her problem. True. Next out, Roxy Andrews yes. as the sexiest Chewbacca car wash you've ever seen. She was really giving me glitter car wash. It was just... Just when um, she's twirled and it was like... Sequin fringe. One of those, you know, ooh, I'm going through, I'm going to get glitter, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> That's like how you get body glittered up before you yes, go to the club. Yes, exactly. You just, you go, just through go through Roxy the Roxy Andrews, Andrews car wash of glitter, yeah be impossible to clean. You gotta really get your caboose glittered up. I don't know. We'll work on that. I feel like that, that's, you don't want... Glitter anywhere near? No, you'll never get it out. Yeah, that's not good. Yeah. Also, fun time to, I mean, I, I'm never gonna make it happen because also I don't know the trademark, but I will tell you this idea that I came up with, with friends mm. since we're talking about Roxy Andrews and car washes, somewhat adjacent. We Tell had more. a joke for a product hmm. that would be a, a douche. Okay. Because uh, Roxy Andrews is here to make it clear. Of course. So it's the Roxy Andrews. <laughs> I'm Roxy Andrews and I'm here to make it clear. I mean, in a joke commercial, I would love that. <laughs> right. Are you ready for, for me? me? Right. I'm here to make it clear. Right. I'm Roxy Andrews and I'm here to make it clear. To, yes. Mm. <laughs> With the shower shot. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Maybe there's a there's a clear eyes crossover. Oh. Maybe that's a, Yeah, that's a little bit more um Did Ben Stein die? He I think was canceled. Okay. He I, I think he became but did he quite also problematic. Die? <laughs> Is Ben Stein alive? Yeah, he's 78. Okay. okay, okay. He was a speechwriter for Richard Nixon, yeah. Gerald Ford? Yes. Oh. I did know that fun fact. Anyway, wow, didn't think we'd be talking about clear eyes. Clear eyes. For red, dry eyes, try clear eyes. Right, <laughs> just pull that, and it was like a beach ball. Yes, yes. Also, I think yeah. clear eyes is really bad for you. Okay, so Roxy Andrews' product will be the alternative. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, anyway, because she is here to make it clear. Clear. Wow. So then next, Jinx Monsoon in this, uh, you know, Hollywood, but 20, what did she call it? 3021 or something. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, the future, it was very futuristic. Although it was really old timey. 50s. Right, it, you was, know, like... it was old Hollywood by lens of futurism from the 50s. White structural with these like kind of Gold inlaid well, on the pinnies. inside. Yeah, you know, lined was, on the um, inside of the little cutout peignets. You know, very 50s alien yeah. temptress. Sure. Into Astronaut it. Jones. What say you to this earthling? I say you three ladies hike up those dresses and bend over and let me slap those fat asses. <laughs> Tracy Jordan sketch that I oh. just... Oh, vaguely. Yeah. <laughs> that I, it really tickled me. I don't know. Yeah, it's my way on the old space highway. That's why they all say the Jones. That show was great. 
Or is it not 30 Rock? It was just... What did I say? Jordan or Morgan? What I meant was more Tracy Morgan on SNL. Great. But I, I, I might have said Tracy Jordan. You might have said either, and I oh, oh, I heard it as Jordan. Well, either way, it was on SNL. Great. But I could easily see it on 30, 30 Rock. Rock as well. Yeah. But also the kind of Barbarella. I can see her in Barbarella in this mm -hmm, mm -hmm. somewhere. The villain. Yeah. Or something. She Maybe she needed some real long coke nails. Ooh, yeah. Uh, the wig was, she pissed it off. Oh. I tried to tease it, but I just pissed it off, I know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is where we start to see yeah. Jinx's cleverness. Even like Alaska too, like they let everybody just volley. Yeah. It's a, you have to volley. You volley it back, and then I toss it, and then you volley. Is this really your best drag? This is actually Detox's best drag. <laughs> <laughs> they're letting them do that, yes. and they're putting more weight behind it sure. than the, I think they do in newer seasons. Maybe. What's the biggest challenge with this scene? Honest, just listening to Fifi's voice over and over. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, the hardest part is listening to Fifi's voice over and over again. Yeah, it was sort of Barbarella starring Betty Davis. Somehow. Sure. You know, it was some, yes. Some, somehow. If uh -huh. that, now, I mean, I would watch that. Oh, yeah. Um, I mean, I would watch anything with Betty Davis. Of course, I have. Did you see that clip about Same her? Wicked ste Stepmother. Oh, wicked there you stepmother. go. Next out, Monica Beverly Hills. Yes. With a Z. Yep. With a Z. In this very um, Janet Jackson yep. uh, Rhythm Nation backup dancer outfit. Yes. It not, no shade, just so that's what it you know, felt like. No tea, no shade. All, all tea, all shade. All shade. Legs. Yes, legs. Oh my God, yeah. The face is beat yep. and she looked really, I really cute. I like this. this I like fun. this a lot. I thought it was a good look. So then next, Alaska Thunderfuck. Um, and I feel like she's, she dropped that. And then she made it Alaska 5000. I think because... Because um, Thunderfuck is a hard thing. She's, as she's a smarter... Uh, business person than, than we are. Than we are. We're <laughs> holding on. I mean, it's principled at this point where it's like, bitch is fine. Bitch is fine. Oh, bitch. bitch. Bitch is fine. T tits is fine. Isn't it, Father? Oh, yes. Tits. Tits is fine. Fine. <laughs> we should change our name to Movie Tits. Movie Tits. I love that, actually. That's pretty great. <laughs> tits. Tits. Maybe that's an offshoot. Exactly. Yeah. An alternate label. You know. Um, in England. Or yeah. Anything. We can be Movie Tits. Although then we could also say... Bitches, because they don't. Oh, know. I was going to say coont. We could definitely say cunt. <laughs> Damn it, April. <laughs> Alaska comes out yes. in this like um, Amy Winehouse beehive. Sure, but but uh, the wind's only coming at her from one side. You know, it's very... it wasn't really beehivey though. It, well, was it was smooth. Tall. It was tall, it was but tall. but it was it was. Um, I don't know. There was something about it that I couldn't quite pinpoint. It looks like you know of, there but... was a there was a breeze that blew her to one side. Well, yes, definitely that. Yeah, and the dress. You know, it was like a black. Mini dress. It had some it, detailing. It has kind of poofy, feathery hard to things. see on the runway. And yeah. A shrug. A ruffled, a ruffled shrug and vinyl. A ruffled shrug and vinyl. Ruffled shrug and vinyl. Next out, Coco Montrese. Yeah. In if Janet Jackson got to do a redo of the Super Bowl halftime show in the. <laughs> Because she had the... I'm still angry about all of that. <laughs> we, As we should be. Yeah, society. We should not forget what no. we did. Exactly. Anyway. I love fetish. So I thought I'd give Santino a little bit something to dream about tonight while he's at home. You better ask somebody. Just giving Santino something to dream about tonight. Oh my God. And then last is Detox in, I feel like, a taste of her Angelica Houstonness to come. There's something mm -hmm. about this that's like... You know, well, villainess, witchy, but like witchy, wicked queen. Yep. Yep. Ro there's always a royalty factor with yeah. detox. Yes, like. yeah, there's something regal almost. Yeah. Right? yeah, yeah, yeah. This long black kind of mermaid shape with feathery at the bottom. This was, a, I thought, a more fashionable version of all of the black feather witchy queen looks that come. Yeah. You know, where those feel more costume. Right. This felt more gowned. Yes, like this could be on a runway or something, right. or a red carpet, whatever. The little um, earrings that are attached to yeah. the headpiece. Yeah. And the makeup was mm -hmm. good. Yeah. Kristen Johnson thinks she's she's overconfident, but right. I'm okay with it. Well, you know, I do think that the Alaska talks of it oh, had I mean started, it. and in this, you know, oh, we're gonna do Sharon and and Fifi, and we're gonna switch and. They were not quite taking it seriously enough. Oh, uh, yeah, I know. You know, their lip syncs weren't very good. We'll no. talk about it. 
Um, so I get that. I, I understood her point of view. Okay. I liked her a lot. And she's got great hair. Kristen Johnston. Yes, great sure. Great hair. Really. <laughs> like up there with Anna Klumsky. Like that thick mane of natural blonde. It's like really. Yeah. Anyway. So quick commercial break and we'll be back with the challenge lip sync extravaganza, they called yeah. it. Yeah. But different than the future lip sync extravaganza. That's why I was confused. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I did like this challenge, though, and I hope that they bring it back in a way, a shape, or form. Yeah, it doesn't even have to be, I mean, it's cheaper to do clips from your own show. Sure. But um, it can just be spoken word. Iconic moments. Yeah. In time. In whatever, you know, whatever. Yeah. Not just a lip sync for your life at the end. No, like no, no, a, right, but like, but I've like a... i prepared this. Yeah, 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 I mean, yeah. I've said it for years. A Get lip sync, lip -sync a <laughs> Come on and mix your own lip sync or something of things that you... Come on! Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Well, maybe VH1 has the money. Or MTV. I don't know what it's on anymore. So first up, Team Serena Cha-Cha. Yeah. Um, and we get the iconic Sugar Daddy oh. scene. You'll never be glamour. You'll never be glamour. You'll never be glamour. That's my favorite. I've never had a Sugar Daddy. If I wanted a Sugar Daddy, yes, I probably could go out and get one because I am what? Sickening. Bitch! No. And Alyssa. Yeah. You'll never be glamour. It's very good. It's great. And also the throwing of the glitter the, the mug. Very, yeah, the very performative. <laughs> Bitch! Yeah. I think that's where I, like, I identify the, the throw more with this than with the original throw. Wow. Just because it's so, you know. Yeah. So good. Bitch! It's great. Jinx with this lampshade on her head. Oh, yeah. It's falling off. Yep. I will never look like that. True. Can you give me a moment? Can I have a second? Oh, but you want to really fight. I thought Alyssa was the best in this scene. Yes. I thought Jinx was funny. Yes. Um, and Roxy was there. I didn't think she was, she, yeah. she was Mariah. Right. I didn't think she stood out. I didn't no. think she was terrible. Like no. she was there. Sure, she was fine. But yeah, I think Alyssa definitely gave good face, which is important because that's basically the challenge, right? You right. have to lip sync, you, you're embodying somebody else's character. Yes. Or a person and and recreating it, but you have to give it a little bit of your own flair. And Alyssa's really great at that because she can't not give it her own flair. <laughs> and she has great face. She makes great face. Yeah. Part two of the same group yes. is uh, Jade as Delta and Serena as Raja. Raja, who's an elderly Martha Washington who's sick and also has narcolepsy. I don't. Know. I didn't know what was that. She kept like <coughs> like yeah, coughing, coughing and, and like falling fainting. asleep. <laughs> But I re remember this and I stand by it. I thought Jade it was great. Slayed everything yeah. she was doing. And I don't really agree. Um, Kristen Johnson says, oh, it was just a fat suit. That's why it was funny. I don't think that's how she played it. No. It was more like just all the things she was doing with her hands. Like she was like a place in France where the naked ladies dance. And she was really embodying what she was saying. And she was kind of embodying that character of Delta that is so, I mean, have you seen Delta's clips of like her podcast or whatever it is yeah, now, yeah, yeah. where it's just like her ranting about life? Is it worth it? Let me work it. Put my thing down, flip it and reverse it. Is it worth it? Let me work it. Put my thing down, flip it and then reverse it. Okay. You know what I don't want to do? I don't want to jump on a call. It was such a caricature. I mean, yes, she's like rubbing chicken on her head, but there right. was, I don't know. There was something about it that was mesmerizing. Yes. And I and I. She nailed the lip sync too, yes. which really helped. Yes. She was like Middle America's interpretation of Asian people, but when they call them Oriental. She really added her physical humor. Yeah. And it didn't have to do with me to, for me at all with the the fat suit. No, she, that was it. Wasn't that wasn't what was happening? But it is interesting. Like, okay, if you're if you're portraying someone who's a bigger queen, are you supposed to not pat at all? Well, you know, like this kind of, you know, put everyone in a little sticky situation. Like Alaska paints herself in dark mode, and I, but she's, you know, and she even says like, I think ooh, I went I too, dark. too dark. But then you're like, well, that Fifi really painted herself dark. So are you supposed to just, what's the line? Yeah. It's, it, I, it's I, I don't question. know what the line is, Yeah, but, there is one, yeah. but I don't particularly think Jade crossed it. I thought she did a great job. No, I agree. It, it was right uh, right on the edge there. I agree. But I'm taking this exaggeration to the nth degree. My foundation is sickeningly dark. 
And one of my lashes is gluing one of my eyes shut. So the next is Ivy Winters, Team Ivy Winters. Yes. With Lanesha Sparks and Vivian Panay and Honey Mahogany. And they had Fix Your Mug. Go fix your hair. I don't fix need your to, mug. I don't need to fix yeah. my mug. I wish she didn't do that. And there's something about the yeah. way that Morgan does this, you fix your mug. Fix your mug. That really is so iconic to me, yeah. that really disappointed me. But, yeah. you know, yeah. um, I said iconic again. I'm sorry, you guys. I don't know well, what's happening, but. again, Ivy put on her uh, John and Kate plus eight wig. <laughs> I don't know. Burn it. But she did paint herself, I thought, like, to look like, more like Morgan. I thought the, sure. the illusion yes. was good. Yeah, sure. Um, and her and Honey did a, did a, perfectly good job like it wasn't bad yeah. at all it was good yeah and then i don't know obviously lanesha was oh having a moment i think lanesha wants all the eyes on her and i'm really starting to get annoyed head banging right that but, was strange but, in the, in but the, then pulled it, it together she and pulled was it like, together for it. the actual clip i don't know what i don't, I don't know, know what yeah this was all about in the i don't know what that was i don't know but yeah, she did turn it out as Tyra. If you have a problem with someone, address it. And that's probably why I seem like a bitch. If I don't like you, I don't like you. She really, Vivian, that, that composed, then why are you talking? Yeah, yeah. You know, it's like I wasn't very, talking to you. Well, then why are you looking at me? Why are you looking my direction? Yeah, that's what it's. And I don't like you. Are you happy? I don't like you. I I'm was saying not it to talking your face. to you. Then why are you looking in my direction? <laughs> I don't like you. And I don't like you. Vivian did a good job as Tatiana, I thought. I thought, yeah, and she had the... She had the hair down. Oh, my God. So that's really... The mannerisms. It was really quite good. That is a good one, too. And I don't like you. I don't like you. I don't like you. There. I said it to your face. Yeah, they had a great interaction and were really, really quite funny and yeah. good. And then team three, team detox. Yes. Detox in Alaska Dang. as Sharon and Fifi. Well, this was confusing. It says they were wearing the wrong outfits. Yeah. From a different fight. They yes. were wearing the angel and the devil. Then they rewrote the script and detox did a blood capsule, yep. which was... Weird, and I enjoyed it. But sure, I didn't it's very know what Sharon. Was sure, and then and they then made they out, out, and I was like, "Well, I mean, I guess if you're, if you feel like the lip sync's going wrong, yeah. make out." I guess they turned it into their own performance piece. Sure, instead of just lip syncing. Right, and I think for me, I would have more leeway with that mm -hmm. if they actually if the had the lip sync perfect down. to yeah. begin with. <laughs> so, I mean, Alaska says herself, "It's a good thing that." Fifi does a lot of this. I'm doing an okay job, but luckily Fifi does this a lot, so I can do that to cover the fact that I don't know what she's saying. But I mean, the MVP really of the night, and I feel like she was robbed. Yes. Was Coco Montrese. Yes. You've been everybody's BFF and kiki 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 kiki. No. Clearly, I don't you. get along so with you. That's fine. No, I, don't, I don't have to be your friend. Oh. This is not RuPaul's best friend, no. Ray Sherlock. As Lashawn Beyond, at slash. A resident of Whoville. I don't know. <laughs> sure. It's weird with the. I mean, that's what obviously. Yeah, but, the little pump. But pump. with the like silver jumpsuit, yeah. thing, like something yeah. about it was really funny, and the way her head was moving and just yeah. like. Yeah, I was into it. This is not Rupa's friend, right? And uh, Monica Beverly Hills as. She was okay as Jiggly. She did Jiggly, not right. really, you know, transform. She didn't really enunciate. And, no. You know, and we we do find out that. <laughs> I'm not just a drag queen, a transgendered woman. Couldn't, you know, fully be herself because she was hiding and she felt like she couldn't say that to the group and out loud and all this stuff. And everyone embraces her yeah. and it's lovely Very and nice. bravo to And her. especially in Untucked, I thought they had, I mean, well, they had a really emotional moment. Oh my gosh. Very, um, yeah. Emotions were high. And that's why later I think there was such a relief when they all became hyenas. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I think part part yes, of the rise right. and the fall of the emotions and why it got so crazy I later right. was because they were so I think you're hyped. right. But yeah, the way that, that RuPaul, oh. well, what is the secret? I've just been holding a secret in and I've been trying so hard. And what secret? What secret? Is Ru's business secrets? Secrets. My business is secrets. 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 There was something so performative about yes. the way this was there, produced. Th well, because it was like, oh, a producer definitely didn't tell me to ask you about your secret. Completely on her own, without being prompted by a producer, obviously. And like, I mean, it just, not that, that Monica what? wasn't, like, that was all real, but like. Yeah, absolutely. It's just the way that it was around it, that it was produced, it felt 
so... Something. Something. Yeah. What secret? Yeah. I've just been holding a secret in and trying so hard. And what secret? So Lanesha wins and the team is safe. And then Monica Beverly Hills and Serena Chacha are in the bottom. Yes. They have to lip sync to Rihanna. Rihanna's... Only girl in the world. Oh, yeah. You make me feel like I'm the only girl in the world. Um, I feel like, I mean, this was great and Monica definitely won. I feel like her outfit would have been really perfect if it was s &M. Yeah. Monica Beverly Hills really feeling the song. Yeah. Really sex is on a stick. It was legs. It was, yes. you know, very good. And yeah. she's like, I know I'm beautiful. And, and Serena did the split. So, wow. Oh, my God. Serena did a split. Oh, wait. She did that last time. But, yes, Monica Beverly Hills wins. Yeah. She gets to stay. Everyone's very excited Yay. and relieved. And they're, I mean, I'm sorry. That's just the facts. I'm not saying anything else. Like, they were very transparent about they were like you need to go home serena can get the hell out of here everyone was waiting for serena to to what well, she does read books though oh to the other queens pick up a book and go read and these queens need to go read a book now it was really interesting like at the end of the episode she says that and yeah. it, without having watched untucked which then comes later yeah, yeah yeah you'd be like what the fuck's that about what does that have to do with anything bitch? but then you realize what <laughs> if you watch untucked you're like oh shit she had a lot of feelings about books and who are you calling uneducated none okay. of us read books is that what you're trying to say none of us are educated because you went to school and you keep talking about you going to school i went to school too miss thing we are all educated I mean, go the fuck, fuck home, home. <laughs> the f off. I've had it with you. Go the f home. Ah! I've had it officially. She had to stand up. She had to. Yes. She, yes. In the full power of her gown. Yeah. She needed to tell them. Miss Thing, I've known you for years and I've never seen you get like that. Yeah. Because a punk has never got me like that. So, quick commercial break and we'll be back with an iconic episode of Untucked. <laughs> I mean, it really is. It really is. <laughs> This this one more than any other times we said it is re this is the this is the most iconic the iconography. Hi, I'm Laura Linney. I am uh, Laura Linney, and this is Masterpiece Theater. No, she dropped that this week. I know, I really missed it. I don't think I ever knew that Laura Linney did Masterpiece Theater. You don't watch much. Well, you weren't watching Downton Abbey when it was on. She was always the one that came on at the beginning of. When you watch like that, there's on, like, like and our donors are, and they right. spend like 10 uh, to 15 seconds on each page sure. of donors, and you're like, skip, skip, skip. Yeah. I'm waiting for those bells. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, doom, 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 doom. I'm still enjoying it. I'm not going to lie. Where are, where are you? Season three. Okay. What's going on with Mr. Ugh. Yeah. He's in fucking jail. Oh boy. And it's just like, can this end? But I know that it doesn't. It and it, yeah, yeah, yeah. It won't. Yeah. Untucked. <laughs> Untucked. Because the catch of the day is schnapper. schnapper. The catch of the day is schnapper. We're just having so much fun. So much fun. I think that's what it really the fun. is. You're right. We only get this room when she's had a coffee enema. Mm -hmm. You know? <laughs> You're missing that. Caffeine. Have you tried coffee animus? How do we get back some of this fun? I think, yeah, go take a take a little break. Take a hiatus. Take a hiatus. You've earned it, Rue. Just a, a tiny one. Yeah. You ain't got to reinvent the wheel. The wheel's already reinvent the wheel. You ain't got to reinvent the wheel. The wheel is fine. Ah. Ooh, child, that coffee enema is co coming for me. So the safe team goes back. Yes. And they open the pink furry box uh, to oh, play 20, 20 questions. questions. I didn't remember that this was, this was our yeah. first. Is she pretty? Is she pretty? Is she pretty? Is she pretty? <laughs> is she pretty? No. 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 I disagree with that. I thought that was rude of Ivy. Yeah, I thought a, a lot of this was rude. I think they were just being rude. Well, of course, that was the you point. You know, they were like, yeah. let's be rude. Yeah, 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 yeah. They're but it was not room. as iconic as... Um, in her own unique in her own way. way. So, no. No. Is she pretty? In her own unique way. So, no. Ivy calling Serena. Sierra. What? Serena. Serena, <laughs> Sierra, I know. I feel shadier than I recalled. Yes. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Your last name is Jolie? 
Yeah. Oh. I guess we get the un un untouched exclusive of each of the, I guess the unsafe teams had to do in. This is what I do. A mashup remix of like different iconic moments. Eshebalante! Yes! Different key catchphrases, etc. Yeah. Um, I thought this was really fun. I wish I could have actually seen it. Like it was in bits and pieces. Like I would have... Sure. I, it seemed like here's another challenge, and but we didn't show you. Right. I liked this idea. I would be down for them to bring it back in some way, shape, or form. Well, this is this is a um, lip syncing to iconic quotes in a different way. Yes, in a remix. Right, in, a, in like a, in a lip sync dance way instead yeah. of like a you know I'm recreate the scene yeah. way. So yes, we get to see the exclusive, and then all the queens come back to the silver lounge. To the silver lounge. What's going on in the gold lounge? Can yeah, we go we check know out? what's happening can over can there. What's happening in the gold bar? Can I go to the gold bar, please? I'd like to leave. What's in the Marlboro loading dock? The Virginia Slims? The Virginia Slims loading dock, excuse, excuse me. Excuse me? It's easier to say. We get a deeper conversation about Monica and Beverly Hills mm. and how she identifies and everyone's, you know. I thought this was so nice too, like Jinx and everyone, sorry to cut you off. But no, no, but I just, everyone's. Yeah, hugging. Jinx <laughs> is, is like. This is the last place for closed mindedness when it comes to gender yeah. expression. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. And we all love you and it's so fun getting to know you. I thought that was I all really that, nice. You know, it's so true. I love that Jinx said, right now she's my hero. Monica's oh, my yeah. hero. Right now, she's my hero. She's the strongest girl in this competition. And she's crying, and then we get a video message from her mom saying, you know, she, I wish I had been there, and it was because, a rough childhood, and yes, and and because of her addiction, you know, she couldn't take care of the kids, and it was it was heartbreaking. Yeah. And then Monica Beverly Hills, you know, cries it out, and yeah. we see it, and it's yeah. real. And, and then they cut to ten or fifteen minutes later, and it was a, it was, it like, was like, wow, well, that was a good cry anyway. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I have waited twenty seven years to hear that. That was so refreshing. I think we all needed that in so many ways. Because to me, it's like it's not it's not something just for TV. I mean, which I appreciate. It's not like we were going to sit there and watch. And, you know, it's like we, we had, had we, had, we had some other business to get to. <laughs> I have had it, little boy. Don't try, Don't try it, little, little boy. boy. You called me old the other day. I may be old, and I may have a lot of surgery to make this plug look young. But I'm wise, baby. Whatever. Don't try it, little boy. Okay. Oh, right. Well, because it starts with, um, you know, everyone's encouraging Monica. Oh, you're so great. You're here because for a reason. Oh, everyone, everyone is here in the same caliber except, except for, for Serena. Serena. Sierra. What? And ah! then, I mean, it was a cacophony. We're all in the same caliber. Except for Serena. <laughs> <laughs> of just all of that pent up, I think it was all of that pent up so. emotional so. crying, yeah. sadness, yeah. all of it, and everyone yeah. flipped and became hyenas <laughs> and just <laughs> lost their minds <laughs> cackling at this. I mean, it went on yeah. and on. Bitch, <laughs> set your ass down and shut the hell up, bitch. <laughs> And it was so funny because <laughs> there's nothing funnier to me than when other people are laughing. Sure. Like I find yeah, laughing yeah, so contagious. contagious. Yeah. yeah. And so this just kept going. And Serena keeps going, excuse me, I like the floor. Can I have the spirit baton right, so I right, can talk? Right, right. At this wrong. point, the ghetto lexic and language is gone. Oh. Ah! <laughs> I think what seemed to have been the biggest trigger of all of these is that Serena came in like she knew everything. Mm. And she was surrounded by so many queens that clearly knew so much more than her. And perhaps were um, uh, slightly insecure about their ages. Of course, and everything else, right? You know, like everyone's in this insecure space of this competition. Yeah. And, and, and how they size up to everybody else. And th th here's Serena just being like, well, I went to art school and I know. And la 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 la, bitch, you're stuck in, bitch, you're stuck in. Da, 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 da. What is that? Like, speak English. Speak English. I read books. It was very, that time in your life when, mm -hmm. when you're a freshman or a sophomore in college and you know everything. Yeah. A absolutely every single thing, you know it. Yeah. So deeply. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know. You're the most creative. Oh, of course. <laughs> Ever. Your creativity is more creative than everyone else's creativity.
because you know everything because you read books and you go to art school. I am now trilingual. I can speak Spanish, English, and ghetto. That's something I didn't know. <laughs> she just really keeps putting her foot in it and putting her foot in it and let's speak English and no oh, more ghetto lexic right. and let's Who have a civilized ghetto? conversation. All of you. This is when we get hashtag, oh no, she better know. No. Yeah, that's right, that's right. The ghetto lexic and language is gone. No, she better know. Who you calling ghetto? All of you. No. 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 Who you're calling ghetto? All of you guys. No, 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 no. no. Mama, what I meant girl. to say, ghetto's a place, it's mama. Not. Yeah, exactly. Ghetto is a place, girl. Don't call people a place. It was a, a diplomatic way of trying to handle it. It was interesting to see everyone's different approaches, approaches to try and defuse it. Yeah. And yet she would then like piss them off. And then it, it, it was like, oh, and now we're back in it. Okay, great. I read books. Yeah, because then it was okay. Now you triggered detox. Oh now, no! Now what are you trying to say? Wait, 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 we're not we're, we're that uneducated. I have had it. Oh, well, Miss Thing, I'm educated. Okay, oh, okay. Miss Thing, I'm only 21. F the f off! I've had it with you. Go the f home. Ah! I've had it officially. Fuck off! Fuck. Go the home. Fuck home. <laughs> the swinging earrings. Yes. It's so iconic. And then Alyssa hiding under. Oh, the tool. Her tool. Oh my God. Uh, this is really good. Uh, that would be me. Sure. Just, I would I just, be the, just, like... <laughs> under their pillow, just like... What's oh, happening in the gold bar? Can I go to the gold, the gold bar, bar, please? Hey. <laughs> Can I go to the gold bar? <laughs> yeah. It's gonna disappear into this ice. Yep. I didn't really appreciate Coco. Serena, cha-cha. Yeah, cha-cha your way out of here. Ole. 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 <laughs> like, just like the laziness of it, just like, like that, someone probably wrote that joke for her. She's probably. Like, fine, fine, I'll, I'll say, say it. it. Yeah, she better cha-cha <laughs> out of here. Ole. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, so yes, we, uh, we had to say goodbye to Serena Cha-Cha, um, but boy, did she give us some, oh. did she participate in some iconic television? Yes. Um, at <laughs> She was fundamental to it. She she was. You have to have both parts. Yeah. She was so anyway. And then um, maybe yeah. someone will lip sync to her iconic Aww. untucked moment. Ah! <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. We'll see you next week. Olay.